Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. You can see we are right in front of the L statue here. Like I said before, it's pretty much just a quick save that uh, saves your status exactly the way it was. The only thing is now this save is actually deleted for the time being, and it'll go back to the last time we reset time, which was the first time. So, you know, we obviously don't want to uh, quit this without making some sort of progress. But um, anyway, the first thing that we're gonna do, I forgot the second right there, I think. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is actually make it nighttime, because as I think I mentioned in the last part, we've got something that we need to be doing here at night, so let's go ahead and make it so. The only thing that's bad about this is, as you can see, it progresses it to 6 p.m., you know, like as soon as it turns night, so um, the thing that we need to do actually occurs around midnight, but uh, we might as well go ahead and just do that now so we can make as much time pass as possible here. So we're going to head into North Clock Town and do a couple of things, even though this is a really small area. Yeah, there are a couple things to do. Uh, for one, you can see the heart piece is up in the tree there. We're actually going to be grabbing that right now. And as we go back here in the corner, we can meet this guy. Who looks really happy about something. I don't know, let's talk to him. I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. Okay, well, I guess I'll just leave you to your not suspicious stuff, but um, anyway, we're going to be getting that heart piece, so you want to climb up here and then jump across. It's really annoying having that guy there because you oftentimes Z-target him instead of changing the camera, and a lot of times that happens too. That jump is actually kind of tricky because um, it looks like you're about to like grab onto the ledge. I gotta face it again. Okay, there we go. It looks like you're about to grab on, but you actually make the jump, so it's very easy to overshoot. Uh, then we jump up here, turn to the right, jump to this thing, then jump out to the tree, and we grab the heart piece, which marks our first heart container increase. Uh, if you assemble a new heart container, your maximum life energy has been increased. Awesome! So we've got four hearts already, and we haven't even set foot outside of the main town. That's great. <laughs> Alright, so now what we're going to be doing, there's really nothing else I can kind of do to kill time. I guess I can try to kill these bushes and get some money from it. But um, what we're going to be doing here, we pretty much just have to wait until it turns uh, about like 12.15 or so. Oh, well, that sucked. I only got like three. But um, yeah, so really all we can do at this point is to kind of just sit around. I'm going to sit and wait right about here, and you'll see why uh, once we actually get to it. Um, and we're going to be looking in this direction, so I will meet you when something happens. All right, it's now 12 o'clock at night, and as you can see, this old lady with a bag has come through that gate. She's walking this way, looking over at me kind of creepily, and now she goes on. Oh, this is exciting stuff here. What's going to happen? Oh, wait. Oh, look, it's our friend who wasn't doing anything suspicious. Whoa, holy crap. Ouch, watch out! Stop, thief! Give the old lady her luggage back! Uh-oh. Okay, so this guy's gonna run over this way. This is why I waited here, because you gotta hit him with your sword and uh, make him drop the bag. You can hit him as many times as you want, but he's never going to stop. He just keeps running. Uh, I wonder if you can he talk to him. No? Okay. Well, you can target him. I was just curious. Alright, so he's gonna run off that way, and if you uh, hit the guy and made him drop the bag, then you will get this little scene here. Thank you. Since he didn't make off with them, I could finally stock bomb bags at our shop. Maybe I'll put them out tomorrow. Yes, I must thank you. It's a dangerous mask, but maybe you could use it to throw your own festival fireworks show. And we get the blast mask, where C, you can have a blast with B, haha, <laughs> get it, but you'll lose life energy in the process. Well, thanks for helping me. Take care. Alright, so the old lady from the bomb shop was added to your notebook, and we got the old woman's luggage. This was also added to our notebook. So awesome, we've got our next uh, new mask here, which is pretty cool, actually. This is one of the more functional masks in the game. Um, I guess we can go ahead and put it over our Deku Nuts, because we're not using those. We can put it on, and it does look really ridiculous. And as you can see, our B command is now changed to explode. Um, if you use it, as you can see, we get an explosion, but you lose half a heart. There is a way around that, however. Um, but we're going to have to wait here a little bit in order for it to recharge. So I guess I'll walk around while we're doing this. Um, in fact, actually, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, invert Song of Time so we can slow things down a little bit. Because we've got a few things that we need to do between the uh, 12 to 6 a.m. period, but um, we should have plenty of time to do it, but, you know, it's always good to just slow it down just to make sure you have enough time, you know. All right, it looks like it's back, so if you want to use this thing without um, losing life, pretty much most people know about this now, uh, but if you hit B and then the shield button right afterwards, 
you actually kind of shield yourself from its explosion, and you can get a free bomb, basically, without losing anything. So it's really nice. Um, it's going to be used in a few places, but it's kind of hard to use in battle because you have to be, like, right next to the enemy. So um, really, I, I don't use it too much for that, but we will see it in a few places. But Okay, so now we're going to come over here um, since we're in East Clock Town, and we want to actually go into this building right here. If we check the sign outside, this is the Stock Pond Inn, and that's a very, very close up of Link Shield. Uh, so if we try to go in, we can see that it's closed. Check-in begins at 8 a.m., so we're going to have to be a little bit crafty about it. Um, you can see this this flower right here, so we're going to have to get out our Deku Mask and jump in. Then we're going to aim this way and aim pretty much straight for the roof. And you have just enough oomph to get up there. And now uh, we can come over this way. I'm going to turn back into a human and open the door. It's just kind of like the little, uh, I don't know, rooftop access, I guess. It's pretty much, you would really only be able to get to this door if you were actually living here and already inside. So um, thankfully, we can just get around that whole locked door down there. But um, where we want to go is down around the corner and in here. And this scene is um, pretty, I don't know, indescribable, so um, we'll just have to watch. But as we go in, holy crap, there's a hand coming out of the toilet, and he's feeling around. Um, I don't want to get too close. All right, talk. P -p -p paper please. Uh, okay, well, we've got a deed. You want this? Yay! <laughs> I love that sound. Oh, you saved me. Oh, man, I don't, I don't even know what to say. This fell down here. I'll give it to you. Well, he, he gives us a slightly smelly piece of heart, but it's a piece of heart all the same. You should continue to put together, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So, uh huh? Who? Well, that person was added to your notebook. You helped, uh huh? Out of a jam. This was added to your notebook. All right, so, yeah, he goes back into his toilet. There's paper right here, I think. Doesn't that look like paper to you? But, oh, well, whatever. Um, anyway, now that we've... I, I don't even know what else to say about that, so let's just move on. Um, we can exit out of this door here. I guess it's not locked from this side, so that's always good. And, uh, let's see. Now we're going to, I believe, head back over and uh, go to West Clocktown real quick. We're actually going to take a quick venture outside of Clocktown for a little bit, so uh, that should be pretty fun. We're actually going to explore the field for um, a few minutes anyway. We won't be out too long, but... Um, so yeah, here's the dancing girls over here. We're actually getting ready to do something with them. Uh, but as we try to leave, you can see this guard has uh, really been practicing his basketball defensive skills and not going to let us through, so let's talk to him. Stop right there. Have you an errand at the ocean? It is dangerous at night, so I cannot allow a child like you to... A sword? My apologies, sir. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child, but I am a child. From Great Bay, you can see clear to the ocean. It lies this way. Be careful. Yeah, Great Bay and the ocean lie that way. We're not going to go anywhere near that. We're pretty much just going to uh, stay on this side. We're going to be really close to Clock Town, but um, this is Termina Field. And as you can see, we got a nice sweeping little overview. Um, we don't get to hear the cool music yet, but um, I guess it needs to be nighttime for what we're doing, so I can't make it day and show it to you. Um, and here we have somewhat new enemies. So let's check this thing out. This is a green choo-choo. Something to be afraid of. It usually has something in its stomach that's of use. And as you can see, it has a magic potion bottle. So um, let's just go ahead and kill it. And it'll drop that, and we can refill our magic with it. We can also get some money around out here um, if it would like to drop some. Eh, well, three is okay, I guess. Um, you can also see that the Gossip Stones make their return in this game. Oh, yeah, there's a guy dancing out there. We'll get to him in a minute. Uh, we can check this thing or hit it, and it pretty much does the same thing it did in Ocarina of Time. It tells you how much time, uh, in this case, you have left instead of what time it is. It's relatively useless because we have a clock at the bottom, so, you know, we kind of already know, but... Uh, it's no big deal. We can also hear there's some pretty funky music in this guy out here. Let's go ahead and check him out since we're pretty much right next to him. Uh, so let's jump off this thing. Hmm, how's it going, man? I am no longer part of the living. My sadness to the moon. I haven't left my dance to the world. I am filled with regret. Translation, I am disappointed, O oh moon. I have died. Oh, I plan to bring the world together and stir it into a giant melting pot with my dance. If only I had taught my new dance to someone. Alright, so the spirit dancer Camaro was added to your notebook. Uh, Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, um, let's see, let's actually, uh, we don't really know what to do at this point, they don't really say a whole lot, but, um, this is a mechanic that you're gonna be seeing a little bit throughout this game. Anytime you encounter someone who is, like, dead, as he said, he said, I'm no longer part of the living, we can... 
play the Song of Healing for them. That's actually going to uh, spark an event here. So we get to watch him dance for a little bit. And eventually he'll talk to us. There he is. Spread my dance across the world. Train its followers. Translation, I have taught it to you, now make it into a popular dance craze. And with that, we get the Camaro's mask. Use it to teach his dance to the world, so his moves can become as popular as he had hoped they would be. I am counting on you. Translation, I am counting on you. <laughs> nice. So he fades away. We became the dancer's successor. This was added to your notebook. Awesome. So we've also got our next mask here, which looks uh, rather creepy, I might say. Uh, mostly because... Link has no face when he's wearing it, but, um, well, I guess that's just part of it. And now our B command has changed to dance, so we can do the little thing he was doing. I bet you never thought you would see Link doing that, huh? Alright, well, anyway, let's take that thing off. That's kind of weird. Um, head on down here. We're also going to get a little bit of, uh, I think there are some enemies, yeah, roaming around here. We can check these guys out if we want. They don't really do a whole lot, but this is an Eno. It's persistent and susceptible to heat. Um, it throws snowballs at you, so just guard, and when you get close to it, attack, and it dies. So, you know, there's really nothing to worry about here. Uh, we've also got this thing right here, which is kind of interesting. Um, let's go ahead and kill this guy so it doesn't bug us. There we are. Okay, so you can see there's kind of a uh, picture of the Skull Kid up here and some notes. The song might look familiar to you. Oh, but it didn't work. Okay, that's good. you got to be close. It's kind of a weird spot you have to stand. Okay, there it is. When you play the song as written, he drops some rupees out for you. That was, of course, the Serenade of Water from Ocarina of Time. So, <laughs> there you go. Okay, but for now we're going to head back up and uh, pretty much back in the way we came. That's all we're going to see of Termina Field for the moment. Um, I guess we can go ahead and try to get some more money. I'm always going to be trying to uh, collect rupees whenever I see an opportunity to do so. Um, just because I'm going to need them in a little bit. So um, I'm just going to collect them whenever I can. It might take a little extra time, but um, it is for a good cause, I promise. Alright, so yeah, let's pretty much just head back in the way we came out which was this door right here. And now is when we can do something with the uh, dancing girls over here. You know, this music sounds very familiar to the one that we just heard with Camaro out there. So if we stand in front of them and dance... I love how they show the guard just watching, but <laughs> there we go. We've taught them a new dance, and they are grateful. Thank you for teaching us those steps. You are our master. Yeah, well, okay. Anyway, all that aside, we've got a piece of heart from that. We've collected two pieces, so two more for another one. The Rosa Sisters, Twin Dancers, were added to your notebook, and we stole the hearts of the dancers. Awesome. So they give us some applause. Master, you're so cool. <laughs> he looks like, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's see. Now that we've done that, we're going to uh, actually do just a couple more things before we end off. Um, eh. In fact, maybe just one more thing. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But um, let's go ahead and come on down. We're going to head back to the... Whoa, I got turned around. Uh, we're going to head back to the laundry pool real quick, uh, which is over here to the southwest. So let's head on in, and when we do... We can kind of hear a familiar tune starting up here, and that's because... The windmill guy is over here playing his little organ, as usual, and he's playing the Song of Storms, of course, so yeah, most of the songs kind of make their return here in this game. Let's go ahead and talk to him. La la la, they said I was much too loud when I practiced in my room. They got mad. Uh, now I'm sad. I'll just, I'll just think about the past to keep my mind off the bad. Ah, yes, I'll do that. Dear guest, long ago I was in an animal troop with dogs and donkeys and such. W what? That doesn't make any sense. Why could a why could a why could a man join? That's because a man is an animal too, my boy. They were all great, but there was one thing I didn't like about it. Why was the why was the, why was the dog the leader? Was it because something was wrong with me, sir? Oh, that dog was an amazing leader. He always had a stellar troop, no matter what animals he had to work with. That's why I that's why I, that's why I stole it. The dog's mask. I stole it. I wanted it because it was the leader's mask. But I no longer need it. I give it to my guest. 
Alright, so whatever that guy was talking about, he gave us the Bremen mask for listening, so I guess that always works. This mask belonged to the leader of the animal troop. Try parading it around tiny young animals. Uh, whatever you say, game. The leader was a good instructor. His members matured quickly, and they became adults in an instant. Yep, so this is Guru Guru, the traveling musician, and we listen to his confession of guilt. So there's our Bremen mask. We're picking up masks left and right here, I'm telling you. And there's still a lot left to get, too. It's big open space here. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out the Bremen mask. We can put it on. It looks kind of like an eagle or something like that. It looks kind of cool. Um, and we can see B is now March, so when we hold it... Yeah, we get this nifty little tune and we march around. Can't really use it for too much um, at the moment. It might only... I think it's only used for, like, one thing. So, you know, it's kind of a specific situation where you would need it. But um, it's kind of cool. It's a catchy little march to go along with it. So I like it. It's pretty neat. But All right, so I think this looks like a pretty good time to sort of call it a wrap here. So um, in the next part, we're going to do a few more side things and... Uh, it probably won't be another couple of videos until we actually start heading out and making progress, but we will uh, before too long, I promise. So um, that's what we're going to do next time. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then.